Desperate Barack and Michelle Obama just spent over $8 million on one thing to try to take out Trump, people will do some pretty impressive things to look good in front of their neighbors, but if you're willing to break the bank to look better than the guy next door, you might want to make sure that you don't move in next to the family of a billionaire, or the daughter and son-in-law of the President of the United States. It would be especially damaging to almost anyone's reputation if your neighbor happened to be both. Oh wait, in this case, that's exactly what we have in one ritzy DC neighborhood. Our illustrious former communist-in-chief has officially put down roots in DC for the foreseeable future by paying a ridiculous amount for the house that they were formerly renting. Their goal seems to be to stay as involved in what's going on in DC as possible, they also seem to be pretty attached to trolling the Trumps whenever possible. Via Dennis Michael Lynch, former President Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle, must really love the 8,200-square-foot Tudor-style nine-bedroom mansion they've been renting in Tony Washington neighborhood Colorama, because they just spent $8.1 million to purchase it. Washington property records posted on Wednesday show that the Obamas paid for the home through a holding company they control. The mansion was previously owned by Joe Lockhart, a former press secretary to Bill Clinton who currently works as a communications official for the National Football League. Given that President and Mrs. Obama will be in Washington for at least another two and a half years, it made sense for them to buy a home rather than continuing to rent property, said Obama spokesman Kevin Lewis. Obama followed Trump to Europe last week and hung out in Germany with Chancellor Angela Merkel while Trump prepared to chastise Merkel and most of the other NATO leaders for not paying their fair share of military funding. According to Maxwell Robin, a broker for TTR Sotheby's International Realty, the Obama's new home really went up in price. It sold in 2014 for $5.30 million, he noted. I know that becoming the president is a bit if an elite boys club, hashtag sorry not sorry Hillary, but you'd think that after eight years in the White House the Obamas would have some of their own friends to associate with. But apparently not, they've got to follow the Trumps around and chase their diplomatic meetings by putting their two cents in after the president does his work. The following them around Europe seems a little bit much. We knew the Obamas would have problems settling back into civilian life, but to be honest I don't think anyone expected them to pay almost double the former asking price for their home, just so they could stay within a stone's throw of the White Hazu and the new White House advisors. I mean, we knew they were bad at math, but this really takes the cake. Via Independent UK, the Obamas are reportedly buying the house they have been renting which is located just around the corner from where Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner are living in Washington, D.C. The Obamas have been living in a nine-bedroom, 8,200-square-foot mansion in Washington's Colorama neighborhood since they left the White House in January. The property was previously owned by Clinton White House Press Secretary Joe Lockhart, who is now the top communications official for the National Football League. The Colorama area about two miles from the White House, is also home to the ambassadors of France and Mexico as well as the current first daughter Ms. Trump and son-in-law and White House advisor Mr. Kushner. I know that the District of Columbia is a relatively small place, but surely it's not a coincidence that they bought the house that close to the Kushner. And while we're on the subject, consider for me how many times you've heard Jared and Ivanka Kushner called something like money-hungry or greedy. So apparently if the Kushners want to live, and rent I might add, in a ritzy neighborhood that's close to work and has an easy commute, they're money-hungry, dirty capitalists, but if the Obamas stay they're just good parents. Double standard much? Source, Independent UK, Dennis Michael Lynch, share if you think that the Obamas need to go back where they came from. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.